I'm back in my truck and it is done. We got back. It's Thursday night and I'm gonna head to Denver, Colorado since yeah. But anyways, my truck is ready to go. I'm about to take off, get to Denver, hopefully before midnight, or around midnight, I guess that's going to be the only time, the earliest I'm going to be able to get there, and go from there, so we'll see how it goes. Here at the yard in Colorado, it is two o'clock, well, two twelve Colorado time, one twelve Arizona time. Came to Colorado because earlier they were talking about a load. I asked them I need wanted to go to Utah pick up a load from Utah going to Phoenix that way I could stop by at the house and then do what I need to do real quick and then deliver the load well for planner and she told the planner this so the planner's like oh I got this load from Colorado going to Arizona well that's not helping me so What's the point of coming to Colorado if it, I'm not going to go and do what I need to do? Might as well not go to Arizona. So instead of the bullshit, I decided to come here and wait until morning. The only reason why I left today, the only reason why I came here tonight is that way I do my 10 hour break. And whatever load that they were trying to give me or give me going wherever, at least I have a full clock when I leave the yard instead of me driving five hours to get here and then have no, really only have a couple hours just to try to get out. So other than that, hey everybody, um, it's Friday, it is 5.22, and I'm in Rollins, Wyoming right now. Got up, I had multiple loads, but the one that they dispatched me on was the one going to Utah, and the load was in the yard already, so picked it up from out of the yard. It delivers in Ogden, Utah, once I get there because it's a drop. Then tomorrow, I have a pickup going to Arizona. I believe it delivers on Monday at 6, 1800. And that gives me plenty of time. But they say the load picks up at 2000 tomorrow, which I'm going to be there tonight. But it's a miracle. They're usually pretty cool they got me in and out a day early before so we'll just see what happens when we get there um, even though I got my truck out of the shop well I'll show you you can read that I have a California bit inspection to do God, I have to get it done in four days so that's pretty much a mandatory thing. Every 90 days you gotta get a California fit inspection, at least for companies that run in the California. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to see what's happening. I might be able to get to my pickup tonight. And um, if they can't get to me until tomorrow, see if I could drop my trailer there and then bobtail to the yard and get that taken care of before they put me on safety hold because the whole plan is to get down to phoenix 
do a big circle, pick up, go to Phoenix, pick up a student out in Cali, and hopefully, and then get moving, start making money, start making more money to get everything situated and squared away. So, all right, everybody. I'm in the Utah yard. Um, got to Ogden, dropped my trailer off, got it empty, drove 10, 12 miles up the road to Clearfield, Utah. I wasn't able to get loaded tonight. They told me to check back at 3 o'clock because there's multiple warehouses. So my load I'm picking up is coming out of both, both of the warehouses. So. Um, as I showed you earlier, my truck needs a 90 day plus an oil change, which like I said before, I was planning on getting that done when I was, after I went to Colorado before I broke down, and since I have to wait, I dropped my trailer off at my pickup, and I came to the yard, so in the morning, in the next four hours, five hours, get my ass up hopefully and get my truck in there so once I get that taken care of everything else will be good and I could just start running and just keep moving so other than that I'm about to lay my ass down so it's about what time is it It's 2, 2 .13. so they open at 6 o'clock, I'm parked like right in front of the doors, so at 6 o'clock they'll be opening up, so another 4 hours, so see you guys later. Alright, 6 o'clock in the morning, I ended up getting in the bay, second one in the bay out of everybody cutting in front, but I was up and let them know. So she's about to get service and be on her way. Detected during startup. I try to clear it, it won't clear. I even turned it off a couple of times, still nothing because we're running fine earlier. That light doesn't work, so it's not telling me if the fucker's running or not, or if there's a code. So so I get a message on the Qualcomm saying return temp isn't right. So normally I just ignore it. But since that light's not working, I have to stop. And I was trying to make sure I could hear it while I was driving. Turn my music down or off so I could see if I could hear it. And I wasn't hearing it. So I stopped. And come to find out, it's not even running. 
it was fine earlier it ran for about 15 hours no problem holding temp supposed to be at minus 10 so I put in breakdown going from there I'm just gonna keep driving south if they tell me to turn around it's whatever I decided that I was going to turn around. I called breakdown. I was like the eighth caller in line. And I was start. I still went south for a bit. And I'm lo I decided to look and look and pull up and see if there's any locations that any shops that work on reefers, which didn't find any besides Vegas and Utah and Colorado somewhere on the 70. So I'm two hours out from the yard, but I'm four and a half hours out from Vegas, so at least I'm attempting to get this fucking reefer running, even though it was running fine when I got loaded. Because I turned it on 10 to 12 hours before I even got loaded or before I even got into a door, so I don't know. By the time breakdown contacts me, I'll be down there being, I'll be in Salt Lake, so keep it posted. Well, everybody, I was right. They're having me go right back to the yard because there's a thermal king right out, right before the terminal. And that was the closest one. They had another guy, but he wasn't answering the phone. So they had me going back. So I'll be over there about four o'clock and about 4.30. I'll be over there. So yippee, let's get to it. All right, everybody, we are here at our delivery. It is Monday, and it is 7.46. So my delivery was at 6.30, and I've been here since 4.30, and still sitting here. As you can see, it's 108 degrees outside. No, my truck's not on right now. The check-in office is right there. We got trucks parked there. Trucks parked in the front. Trucks parked over there on the side. So with all that, I still, they gave me a load that I was supposed to pick up from the yard and then take that about five miles up the road and deliver it at midnight. Well, my 14 is running and I've got five hours and 25 minutes um, I would have been able to do it I of course me plan ahead tell them uh, it's not gonna work out I'm going to Shamrock Foods there's certain places that you just don't you're not gonna get in and out on and I've been to this place plenty of times to where you don't get in and out so I probably won't make that I'm waiting on a phone call from the office um, and then when I get a phone call, I got to drive around the building to the next street over just to go inside their other other entrance area for their docks. But it's whatever. Um, I did do partial what I needed to do, even though I ended up backtracking. And it sucked because I could have fixed the problem for some reason because I opened it the engine compartment and looked at the reefer that night I seen the wire and for some reason I just closed it and then drove three hours to the yard I don't know why I did that that was dumb on my part when I could have just fixed it myself and went not dealt with all the hassle but yeah enjoy hope you enjoyed the video or 